some probably bogus but interesting leaks of the OnePlus 6 take the spotlight. We get more details on the design and color variants for 2018 of iPhone 10 variants, and our coverage of 2018's MWC continues. We got more videos coming to prove it. I'm Jaime Rivera, and I know that I owe you yesterday's video, but we got the unboxing of the Galaxy S9 Plus. That was Compensation. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today began with ASUS. I have no clue why the company chose to leave their event last, but yesterday we saw the new Zenfone, Zenfone 5 Lite, Zenfone 5, uh, 5, and the Z. Now, the most interesting part is that, uh, yes, the 5Z is the full-blown flagship Snapdragon 845 and everything you want, it wasn't available at the show, mainly because it's not going to launch until June. We did get to see the 5, though, uh, and, uh, well, if you look at the design, they're pretty much the same phone, which is great. It looks like another phone, I know, but that's really not the point. The cool part is everything this phone can do. You can learn more about them once our hands-on videos go live very soon. Now, one neat surprise came from Qualcomm. We weren't expecting a Snapdragon 700 series, but it got announced. It stands in between the 600 and 800, obviously, but the uh, most interesting part is it's designed for higher-end phones that are still mid-rangers, uh, and it brings AI capabilities, pretty much. So it kind of mimics the Snapdragon 845 to a certain degree. We can't wait to see when we'll get new hardware that includes it. Now, let's talk about the Huawei P20. We've got some leaks on video today portrait video, I hate those, uh, but they show us the phone pretty much being, I mean, I don't know, leaving the manufacturing plant or whatever. It's very shiny, so it's very hard for us to know if it's a glass phone or if this is just another jet black variant, just like we saw with the iPhone 7 at some point. But the design looks interesting. Definitely, this is the P20, not the P20 Plus that apparently brings three cameras. Now let's talk about the iPhone 10 2018. We've got some more news, this time with Bloomberg as the source. Uh, we hear that uh, dual SIM cards are definitely going to be something for certain regions. In addition, we also hear that there is a gold color variant that's coming. And for those of you that are thinking that at least one of these devices is going to bring Touch ID, no, apparently Face ID is going to be the way to go for all three variants. It seems Touch ID will remain at least in the uh, SE2. We'll keep you posted as soon as we learn more. And finally, the very interesting news today have to do with some leaked photos of the OnePlus 6, probably. I'm going to call these bogus because you'll notice that the fingerprint scanner is not aligned with the camera. So definitely a bad Photoshop job, if anything. But, uh, you know, the reason why I left this for the most interesting news is the design actually doesn't look bad. If this would be a concept design, I would highly suggest OnePlus consider it. But let us know in the comments, I mean, what do you think? Would you want the OnePlus 6 to look like this phone? Uh, you know, probable glass back and vertical cameras and the fingerprint scanner at the bottom? Because again, in my case, I would like that, but leave us a comment down below. Your opinion is more important. Friends, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on Pocketnow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You can watch uh, Monday's Pocketnow Daily up here and our full playlist of MWC down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, or on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I'm Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow, hopefully.